Alright guys, I have been getting a ton of comments here on the channel actually wondering how I have went ahead and changed my riders, my AI rider gear setups for Monster Energy Supercross 3. Now the simplest way to put it is mods on PC. The paid 2021 mods are unreal and this is just one of the many things that his mods bring to the table i really do think changing up the ai gear is something that milestone should do i mean look at that gear on marv that is a clean old kit right there and it would spice up the game a little bit if every now and then the riders got updated we got to see i mean benny Bloss in some different gear even seeing him out there in his new kit like that brings a little bit of joy to my heart now what i am going to be checking out here today is of course another mod from pay 2021 and this is the ken roxon mod so this mod takes the van martin ai rider and gives him a ken roxon bike setup as well as a ken roxon gear setup so i'm gonna hop in have some fun with it and my goal is to dominate the ai i'm gonna put them on very easy play a few different tracks and see if i can lap them two maybe three times in a single race Since Glendale seems to be the easiest track that I've checked out so far in my AI testing series, I think Glendale is the first track I take on here in today's video. My goal is to go off the start and just dominate. I want to check out pretty much like I did with ET last week. This video is just going to be for fun and I want to see how I compare against the very easy AI riders. So let's go racing in Glendale. Let's attack the track, get a good start. Oh man, Kenny trying to time the gate. A little bit of a bobble there, running into that gate. Just gonna outbreak these guys coming into this first corner. And I should be smooth sailing with that whole shot. So of course, one thing I noticed right away is it doesn't actually change the rider data. So my name is still van martin but i gotta say man that ken rocks in 94 setup is on point the team hrc honda bike the red bull helmet the fox gear it is an a1 setup if you ask me i really do feel like i'm kind of just getting started with the world of mods over on pc i don't know how it took me this long to get in to the world of modding like it took me forever to actually try some of these out and I've known about Pay 2021. He is a fairly popular MX game modder, and for MXGP and some of the other games, he has actually made like snow tracks that I've checked out in previous videos. So, finally putting the mods to use. We're gonna have some fun here in Glendale as I start to check out against the easiest difficulty in the game. So with 6 minutes and 40 seconds, just over 6.5 minutes left in this race, I am currently 18 seconds up on Grant Langston. I gotta say, I am, as I almost jumped off track there, I'm finding that flow in Glendale. The KR94 setup seems to be running pretty good. Obviously, the AI bikes are unreal and we're pretty much just playing as Van Martin, reskinned as Roxon. The bike is definitely upgraded, that's all I gotta say. It beats a stock bike any day. I'm flowing, I'm actually surprised at how long it's taking me to check out from the AI. At this point, it looks like I will be lucky to lap the entire field once here on Glendale, which I thought it was one of the easier tracks. I thought I was maybe gonna be able to lap these guys at least twice. Obviously, there is a ton of racing remaining, so it will be interesting to see how that all plays out. But slowly but surely, reeling in the AI, and hopefully these passes start happening here fairly soon. 25 seconds up on Marv now, my Ramuskin in P2, so... Man, I gotta clean up that triple and get this charge on the road. So three minutes on that clock, and as I ruin this rhythm, salvaging a line, let's go. I'm finally getting that first pass under my belt. I feel like I'm finally starting to actually attack Glendale, attack the track, and hit some decent lines. 
the start of the video, I was all over the place hitting funky lines and not really making anything work. So it would be interesting to see how it played out if I took on Glendale again, but at this point, two and a half minutes left, I am focused on trying to get up there and lap as many people as possible. Can I get through the whole entire field before that checkered flag is flown? That's gonna be the question. Benny is back there in the distance. We left him in the dust. Anktignap and Plessinger are next on the list. So I think I just gotta put my head down, charge, and the passes are just going to flow at this point. I really do gotta clean up that section right there. This triple out of this corner has been costing me a ton of time. And I feel like if I clean that up, it would give me a better drive for this rhythm and I would have been smooth sailing making my way through this pack. Get the pass in on Antignap, and I can set my sights on Plessinger for pass number three. On that inside, there we go. Choking up and hitting kind of a funky line through here. Can I still skip my way into the corner? That is not what I wanted through there, not what I needed by any means. And let's see, with a minute left, can I get up into lapping the top 10, the top five, or where will I be able to make it up to? Savachi is next on the list. There's actually a decent little group right here that I think I might be able to make it past in one go. Clipping Hill. I wanna say it ruined my line, but at the same time, it worked out in my favor. And somehow I got through there with Ease. Freeze is next on the list. I wonder what place Vince Freeze is actually running. It looks like, is that Ferry or Stewart after him? A little bit of a gap here. Now that we're past him, it is Tomac that's next on the list. Both Stewart boys, past James. And Malcolm is actually right here. He ended up going down, get that pass in on him. And Langston. Next on the agenda, on the last lap. He will be for sixth, I believe. See if I can get around Langston right here, just like that. So I have lapped up to sixth at this point. And Ferry would be for that top five, if I can get him before the finish line. We are running out of time. All comes down to my drive through these whoops and how quick he gets through this corner not going to happen lapping up to sixth place here on attempt number one i'm actually surprised the very easy ai standing their ground and they were pretty competitive here on glendale for some reason i just can't choose this gate i'm not sure why i think there's actually a rider already there but I guess I'm stuck all the way near the outside between my boys Hill and Enkignap. I know I said at the start of the video I was going to try some different tracks, but I feel like Glendale did not get a fair... That, that game's... The, the gate's literally empty, man. What the heck? Why would it not let me start there? RJ just spawned in the middle of the track and fell instantly. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I didn't get a proper test in on Glendale on the last attempt there. I feel like I can lap the entire field once. So it is time to give it another go. I'm gonna clean up my act, clean up those lines. Roxon takes on Glendale for this video. Will I be able to get it done? That is the real question. Will this attempt play out any better, any worse? Will I ride any better or any worse? Or will it pretty much play out to be the exact same as the previous attempt. That's what I'm about to find out. Nine minutes of racing left to go as I start to check out from the rest of the field. I was expecting to lap these guys maybe twice, at least get through the field one time complete, get into lapping them twice. I was even hoping for three times through the pack when I started this video. It seems like that is not possible, especially here on Glendale. I can't say I've been hitting the best lines, but I have been hitting some pretty decent laps. As of right now, fast lap is a 110, and that is, a not, that is not a good lap by any means. Crap. 
crashes are definitely not going to make this attempt any easier on me. As of right now, 13 seconds up on Aaron Plessinger. So I have a decent amount of work to go. Finally, a better lap on the board. A 105, is Blake Baggett under the track? What is going on over there, man? What the heck? I definitely got to check that one out in replay after this race on the start straight here i swear the man is under the track supercross 3 definitely having some glitchy moments here on the glendale restart starts off with no one in that one gate it wouldn't even let me choose it then all of a sudden rj ricky johnson spawns in halfway down the start straight and crashes and now blake baggett is stuck under the track if we actually take a look at the timing and scoring next time it pops up and shows the split times there are multiple riders like five minutes behind so i don't know what's going on i think supercross 3 definitely had a glitch moment there and uh, i don't know i'm gonna have to check that out in the replay mode but what is going on here in glendale supercross 3 it is getting wild <laughs> With three minutes left in this race, I'm finally up to the back of the pack, getting these first official passes in the bag. Acting Nap will be the first on the list, followed by Benny Bloss. Hopefully getting both of them right here in this rhythm. Stretch it out just like that. There we go. Not perfect, but a decent line through there in Van Martin. Otherwise known as the man Kenny is checking out 35 seconds up from AP right now. The pass on Justin Hill. Let's see if I can hold this inside line just like that. That is another one off the list. And Reed is next on. Okay, he went down. That is another one off the list. Who is next? Justin Bogle. The man looking fresh in his new kit. Mods. Got him looking good, and that is it, man. I think that is this race down the drain. JA21, the 2018 champ, next on the list. I thought I was going to get landed on for sure by Anderson. Oh, there he is again. Oh, and I'm going to... I thought I was going down. I don't know how I clipped that tough block and did not go down. Brayton and Stewart, let's get past both of them. Breeze behind me as well, and Ferry for fifth. Is he next? He is next on the agenda. It is the last lap. Tell me... Okay, um... This race is playing out exactly how the, the other one did. Minus the fact that a lot of the AI are actually sleeping on the ground right now. I managed to lap up to fifth place this attempt. So one position better when I did it again. That is wild. I guess Glendale is just not the track to attack when you want to lap the AI. I just want to see what actually happens to the AI off of the start. So there are a ton of of empty gates here and if we go to like cooper webb ricky johnson these guys are in the ground blake baggett Millsaps. seems like four riders just stuck in the dirt this is the first person view this is third person yeah it doesn't seem to actually show us what they are seeing right off the start like <laughs> what is that what is going on there clearly they are just falling to their death or something it looks like they just spawn in and just keep on crashing so johnson's in the ground this is actually his helmet cam view and when we go to third person you can just see a very faint outline of the rider down there just falling to his death i actually got him to spawn in there we go oh man <laughs> what is happening i literally broke supercross 3 i broke the game just like that broke it i don't even know what i did but somehow i ended up with ai riders falling to their death they're all in the same situation too like we got webb we got Millsaps here we got ricky johnson and of course the man blake baggett just falling to nowhere the track is way way up there that is insane look at how far he's fallen and at this point we just have a floating 
Ricky Johnson. Here we can see Ricky Johnson falling to his death while Blake Baggett is trying out those new freestyle moves, man. What has happened? to Supercross 3. I think that's where we end it. A very interesting video, not how I expected it to go by any means, but sometimes those are the bangers. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go down there, smash that thumbs up button for me, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.